Hello and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'll show you 5 Excel tricks that you can use in your day to day office task to make your work more productive and easier. These tricks can not only make your work easy but also can make you more professional. Also, if you are preparing for your job interview, this video will be a very helpful asset. Before starting this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Now, let's jump into the video. Here on my computer screen, you can see that we have office data and the first trick is about format creation. This is the data set for March and we have done all the formatting on this worksheet. And we need to create such sheets for April, May and June as well. If we do all this work from scratch for every month, it will gonna take a lot of our time. But there is a much easier way to do that. Because as you can see, I have applied background colors different in these rows here in this column the color is different and also the text format it's bold here and all of that stuff okay so let me show you the easy way here you can see that i have a sheet for april may and june i need the same format for these months and i don't want to redo all of the work again so i can select this whole data like this and hold the control key and select these other sheets april May and June and now as you can see that we have an option on the home tab that says fill and here we have an option across worksheet I'll click on this and you can see that we have got three options here if we need the same data we will select all if we need only content from this worksheet then we will get the content and the format will not be copied and if we select format then we will get the format and not the content so in this case we can select format or all because we need the format but i'll select all here and hit ok and here as you can see that we got the data for april but some of the data is not properly fit to these cells we can fix this to fit this we need to go to format and then out of it column width and all of the data will be fit into their columns and yes we have copied the data successfully and now which things you need to change you can change and the remaining data can stay the same like uh, department or salary can stay the same and this format is applied to all of these three sheets okay now moving on to the second trick and it's about serial numbers serial number is a common term and it's used in almost every kind of data for example if you are handling or entering a data of a company you fill the series like this you write one two and then select both and uh, double click or drag this little icon to fill the numbers but let's say we have got new data to add then we have to write or do the previous method again but did you know there is a method that you can use to autofill these numbers as you add more data for that we need to add a formula and that is if formula i will write here is equal to if and the logic is that if our employee name is equal to blank comma and then the serial number will also stay blank otherwise comma row one ratio one i will write here one ratio one and hit enter now i can drag the cell down and if i add new content in this cell and hit enter you can see that the number is automatically added here this is a very useful thing and is also used in every data entry task. Okay, so the third trick is related to print. And this is also one of the most used term in our daily office task. It's very important and easy at the same time. But sometimes new hires or refreshers don't know these tricks. So here we have got a large data set. And sometimes if we print this data on a A4 page, the data will not be fitted into one document. Here if I show you the preview, you can see that we have not got all of the rows and columns into this one paper. For that, we need to go to the page layout tab and here you have the option scale to fit. We can add requirements for printing. We have the width and height option here. If I select width and make it one page, it means I need to print my data on one page. And now if I see the preview, Excel has automatically tried to fit all the content on the one page. The same thing I can do for the height. Let's make it to one page and see the print preview. And yes, it's done. 
you can also make the page landscape or portrait here we have got the option page orientation and right now the page is portrait i can make it landscape and now if i hit ctrl p my data is looking like this so if you need your data in landscape you can select this option okay now let's talk about the fourth trick and the fourth trick is also about printing and this is about printing the title to all the pages okay so if i remove these requirements from height and width and now i see the print preview you can notice that we don't have the heading of the document on the second page this heading is not visible on the second page to fix this you need to go to the print title option here and select the row you want to print as your heading or title in this case i'll select this and hit ok and now if i hit ctrl p we have this heading row here on the second page now let's move on to the last trick and that is about move or copy worksheet to another workbook another workbook not another worksheet sometimes your manager can ask you to send data of april month and now you can see we have data of three months here but he asked only for april so you got to send him the data only for april this is very important and useful this is very important and useful in many cases let me show you how to do that you need to right click on the sheet and then go to the move or copy option and here mark this create a copy option and select new book here select this and hit ok and now your april data is copied to a brand new workbook you can send this to your manager all right that was the five trick you can use in your daily day-to-day -day office task to make your work smoother and more productive and don't forget to let us know in the comments below if you knew these tricks before or not and if you found this video to be helpful please don't forget to hit the like button and i'll see you in my next video